this video, we'll look at minerals and other materials that fluoresce under UV light. Why does fluorescence occur? The electrons orbiting an atom exist at very precise energy levels, something I like to think of as different levels of bleachers. At just the right energy level of UV light, uh, the electrons of some atoms will jump to a higher energy level. When the electrons fall back to a lower energy level, they'll give off light of a very specific and sometimes visible color. We'll look at three different types of calcite from different sources. We'll look at fluorite, quartz, helenite, which is a man-made material made from Mount St. Helens ash, and a uranium-doped glass marble. We'll also examine a rock containing the mineral wollastonite, another rock containing the minerals willemite, calcite, and franklinite, and finally we'll look at two samples of a very interesting mineral called hackmanite. These are the samples under white uh, room light, LED light, and we turn off the light. Here are the samples under low energy long wave UV light. Note that the hackmanite and uranium dope marble uh, glow brightly under long wave UV light uh, with fairly good fluorescence of the helenite. The samples respond very differently under the higher energy short wave UV light. The green willemite and red calcite fluorescence is very clear as is the yellow glow of the wollastonite. When the short wave UV light is removed, one of the calcite samples briefly continues to glow, as does the willemite and one of the hackmanite samples. You can most clearly see the differences in long and short wave UV fluorescence in these photos. Thanks for watching and I hope you'll subscribe.